Hey guys, welcome to today's video about my new add-on. In software like AS Automotive or V-RAID, you have a feature to set up different variants. These variants could be say fuse, object transformations or visibility. Also in Photoshop, you have a feature called layer compositions, which allows you to save different layer sets to choose between. In Blender, you could achieve something like this with keyframes, but this is more of a workaround rather than a real workflow. And if you're using animations or having something animated, it's not really working well anyways. So as a solution for this, I came up with my new add-on, the Variant Lister Pro. You can get it on my Gumroad page or on Blender Market, as well as on ArtStation, and the links are in the description down below. Okay, so here I have set up a little studio environment for this Lamborghini model that I got from Sketchfab and you can find the link also in the description. Here on my side in the end panel under Dtools, I already set up a couple of variants. The user interface is quite simple. We have the variants in the left column and on the right column you can see four icons. Each of these icons represents the type of properties the variant will affect. So the camera icon stands for viewport views. The cube is for object visibility. The axis icon is for object transformations and the collection icon stands for collection visibility. As you can see, the first four variants here have the camera icon active, which means that these variants will only affect the viewport view. This can be quite useful if you often want to quickly jump to a certain object in your scene or perspective that you like. I like to name my variants so I know what they're doing. And let's jump to the three quarter front view just by clicking on the variant. I can also jump to the rear of the car. Besides the position and rotation of the view, the variant lister also remembers the focal length. So when I switch to the headlight, you can see that I set up a much more dramatic view angle here and the same goes for the tire. So let's go back to the three quarter front view. The next two variants are object transformations. I set up two one variants. One is for the doors open and one is closed. So let's open the doors by just clicking on the variant. As you can see, it only changed the transformations of the doors and did not affect the viewport because I set the variant type to transformations here. To close the door, I just click the close doors variant. As I said earlier, you can also save the object visibility. That's what these three variants are for. Again, it's really simple to activate a variant. Just click it and it will toggle the objects depending on how you set up your variants. In this variant, I removed all the meshes of the light sources and just kept the actual light so the car lit the same way as before but in a cleaner environment. Here I actually made a mistake and forgot to hide one of the meshes but that's no problem because you can just hide it in the outliner. And update the variant by clicking the update button down here. So when I now jump back to the previous variant and go back to the one I just updated, you can see that the mesh is hidden now. Next to the update button, there's also a button to remove the active variant set. So this one here is completely empty basically and I can just remove it. Now it's gone and it will jump to the previous um, variant. And there's also a plus button for creating a new variant set. So let's quickly go through how to set up variants for the collections. In my Lamborghini collection here, I have uh, a collection that's called rims, which holds three collections, each containing one rim version. Right now we're having rim two on display and I can now set up a variant for rim two just by clicking the plus button. By default, all property types are active, so you can also make combinations of different uh, 
properties. But for this variant, I only want to affect the collection, so I turn off all but the collection icons. Now I can rename it by double clicking the variant and I call it CV underscore rim two. I like to use abbreviations in the beginning like CV for collection visibility, but that's totally up to you and you can rename it whatever you want and what works well for you. Now let's add uh, variants for the other two rims. And now you can simply switch between them. I added the collection visibility because it allows you to set up collection variants independent of the hierarchy structure in your outliner. In the case of the rims, it's probably easier to use the uh, collection variants add-on because I already set my hierarchy used to be with that. If you don't know what the collection variants add-on does, please check out my video about that one. I hope you find this tool as useful as I do and that it greatly improves your workflow. Um, if you have any kinds of suggestions what could be added to this add-on or improved, please leave a comment down below or send me an email to support at wilfiedesign.com. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.